What's up everybody, Brody here from Celiac Quilting. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make this Delectable Mountains quilt. This quilt is super easy to make and all it takes is a layer cake of solid fabrics and a layer cake of prints. We're gonna dive right on into the video and get started. So what you're gonna do first off is lay down your prints, excuse me, lay down your solids and you're gonna mark them so you can make half square triangles. So you're gonna mark them on the diagonal, lay down your ruler. Did my pen will work here and you're gonna mark right down the center of your fabric. Then what you're going to do is take it and you're going to put it right on top of your prints. Now we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam down each side just like we would any other half square triangle. Just like that, we're gonna turn it around do the same thing on the op in the opposite direction. Now, I'm gonna lay it down, open it up. Normal half square triangle procedures here. Just like this. I'm gonna open this up and then we're gonna square it. Now that I have my blocks pieced together and ironed open, I'm going to square them to nine and a half inches square. I'm gonna lay them down, put my ruler on top. And you're gonna repeat this with the rest of your blocks. So I've got our blocks put together and squared. Now we're going to start the cutting. This is the most important part of this entire tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down your block just like this. You're gonna take another block and you're going to put them right sides together to where the blocks match, okay? You're going to match up your corners here. So they're right on top of each other. You're gonna cut two at a time. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut two and three eighths inch strips across these blocks you're going across the diagonal. So I'm gonna lay this down right here. Make sure again that you're square. That everything's right on top of each other how it should be. And then set your ruler on top, two and three eighths inch. So just like this and cut. You're gonna cut all of your blocks just like this. You want to make sure also when, you, when you're finished cutting that you're going to keep these together. That way it makes the assembly of your quilt a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these and we'll be right back. Now that we've cut our blocks into strips, what we're going to do is start laying them out. So I'm gonna take these two that we have that are right sides together. I'm gonna to lay them out like this. And you're basically gonna just grab a strip off each one and match it up. Until you have what's gonna be the start of your delectable mountain. Just like this. You can see that up top, yep, good. And it's the same thing, but upside down or reverse on the other side. Just like this, you can see this here in the camera. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm going to take each one of these strips, put them right sides together and start sewing quarter inch seam until I get each one of these blocks done and then sew them together. We'll be back. So I've sewn these together in strips of two like this. Now what I'm gonna do is iron them flat and then sew the strips of two together just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and iron them. So iron this one open, iron the next one open. Then I'll take these two, put them right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam. So just like this. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. You're gonna iron both these open. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is match these points up as we are sewing these two sides together. So I'm gonna iron these first and do, the, do that, and then we'll be right back. All right, so what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna take these two blocks here, and what we want to do is make sure that we match this point. So we're gonna put them right sides together, and then 
just make sure, fold it over to where you can make sure that those are right lined up. So I'm just gonna pick it up, put my points together, do the same thing right here, and then we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam. So this is what's gonna be the top of your mountain. Just like that. Same thing on the bottom. Right sides together, make sure that we're lining up these seams here. Just like that. Now that we have both sides of this block complete, what we're gonna do is put them right sides together, and you wanna make sure that you pin on each one of these seams or clip on each one of these seams. That way your, your blocks are all lined up perfectly straight. So I'm gonna pin this and then sew a quarter inch seam down the center. All right, so I sewed it together. Oops, I got a wonder clip stuck on there. And this is what your delectable mountain's gonna look like once it's finished. So I'm gonna iron this open and I'm going to finish the rest of my blocks and then start putting my blocks together. All right, so I've got a few of my blocks sewn together and what I'm gonna do now is show you how to match the blocks, that way they come out perfect. So as you can see here on my top camera, you want this to look like a diamond or a square when you're done sewing it. So you're gonna put these right sides together and what you want to do is basically just put them right on top of each other and you wanna clip it or pin it in three different spots. You're going to do one right on the edge, so make sure these are all lined up. Put them right together, put a clip here. Then you're gonna do one in the center to make sure that these two center seams are lined up. And then you're going to do one right here on your third point. So you're gonna do three there, obviously you can pin the rest so you can sew it, but you wanna make sure that you get these three, that way everything lines up perfect when you open it up. So I'm gonna take these over to the sewing machine, sew these together, and then I'm going to show you how to put your rows together. All right, so we've got our first row together here. Came out perfect. What I'm gonna do is get the rest of my rows and then show you how to put the rows together. So I'm gonna add my last row to my quilt. And what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to line these up to where your points match. What you need to do is lay this down right on top, get it kind of where you know it needs to be. And then what you need to do is basically fold this over to where you can see this point here and this point here line up with these points. You're not necessarily lining up your edge, you're lining up these points on top of each other. So you're gonna take these and you're gonna put them right down on top of each other. Hold it down, grab your wonder clip and, or your pin, however you like to do it, and go ahead and pin it. Then you're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna lay them down to where they're just perfect on top of each other. And then you're going to again pin it and you're gonna do that and then basically you're gonna just kind of start lining up each one of these seams here but your these seams are the most important are your are your points i'm going to line these up and pin these and then we're going to finish sewing And just like that, our delectable mountain quilt top is finished. This quilt is so easy to make. It's another one of those quilts that looks difficult to do, but in the end, it's just a few simple steps. I'm gonna run this quilt across the building to our in-house long armor to have it finished. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends. As always, I'm gonna put instructions on how to make this quilt in the description below. My name is Brody, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you next time at Sew Yeah Quilting.